So this is the deck locker from BCW Gaming. Um, it's a tower deck box. It's really premium. This is a red one, but it comes in a variety of colors. And um, yeah, so if you don't really know a whole lot about tower deck boxes, although I'm assuming most people do, it basically is just a more vertical deck box. It's clearly, you know, up market from your average standard sort of just cheaper plastic deck box. Um, and this one in particular has a really nice minimalistic look. Um, as I said, it comes in multiple colors, uh, red, blue, green, the works. It's got the dragon logo for BCW Gaming on the front. And I really like this dragon logo because it doesn't draw a lot of attention to itself. It feels nice and generic um, and doesn't like, you know, scream the brand at you like some other brands will do. Um, there's also nothing on the top, but on the bottom, it does, you know, say it's the BCW deck locker. I like that they keep it on the bottom so that it's not just, you know, in your face. Um, anyway, the outer interior of this is kind of sort of a leatherette, matte sort of feeling cover. Um, it's, I guess, sort of preference as to whether or not you like that. I think it's great, but I do feel that it can be a little bit slippery, although in my experiences with this, I've found that while it felt a bit slippery and easy to like just slide out at first, over time it actually sort of just, I guess, toughens up and gets a little bit grippier. Uh, that's weird to say, but I think that's a good feature and it works in this product's favor. Maybe the only other thing is it feels like it could be a bit of a grease or fingerprint magnet, but hopefully you aren't holding your deck box with greasy hands as it is. So let's open this up. You'll see that it's actually got two open up straps. So when you open up here, it reveals the compartment for your deck and this slides out. When you open up here, it reveals a compartment where you can put some extra accessories and conveniently enough, I've actually brought some. I don't actually have any dice for the sake of this video, but I've got some marbles, this, some coins that you could also use. And these all just really fit very comfortably in here. So uh, as you can see it, you know, they fit really comfortably in this little compartment. You can pull this all the way out and like, you know, kind of just sit it down next to you and have your stuff available to you. Or you could just sort of have it like halfway out and grab what you need. Like I said, dice would be what you'd probably default to putting in here. And uh, it works really well. Something to remember though is don't put it in backwards on accident. That's actually something that I made the mistake of doing a few times because if you do, you'll see it'd be really hard to pull that out. So don't do that. Um, and also, this is where your deck goes. So you can have this compartment only open. Like you could just open this and grab stuff or you could keep this closed and only open this and just grab your deck. And these both stay closed through magnets. So you'll see actually these sort of circular spots here are where the magnets connect. And it just, it's a nice, really clean close. Um, it doesn't, you know, fly open even if you shake it a bit, even under a lot of pressure. And you know I had some heavy coins in there as you can hear them sort of rattling. So it's really secure. It does a great job of storing your cards and keeping them safe. So anyway, this will hold. This is, like I said, kind of probably meant more for Magic. Um, I might have mentioned that in previous reviews of products. A lot of deck boxes are kind of geared towards games like Magic, so they'll give you a lot of space. This is a standard 40 card Yu-Gi-Oh deck with a side and extra, and as you can see, there's still a comfortable amount of room left in here, which is great because that sort of means that you can, you know, hold tokens, extra stuff. Yes, I know this is a Monarch deck, so you're probably wondering, why has it got an extra deck? <laughs> To a safe example. Anyway, um, yeah, so there's a lot of space. It's really comfy. Your cards get a little bit of room to breathe, but also when the deck box is closed, they're still secure in here, so they're not gonna be like shaking around and getting rattled and scattered about. So that's really great. Um, overall, I would say this is just a really solidly made product. It's got a nice premium feel. I also like that the size, while a bit bigger than your average deck box, is not so big that it's distracting or like overly heavy or anything. I mean, I guess the weight of this will increase a bit if you put like a lot of dice in it, but that's just more up to you. Um, it's really, it doesn't draw too much attention to itself. It's a really good size. It's really comfortable to hold. I can hold it, you know, in one hand and I guess I have kind of big hands, but not really. So I think anybody can comfortably hold this and that's the one quality of it that I really like. Um, really good stitching, so it feels like it's not something that would just tear up really quickly. Um, as I said, the only real subjective maybe gripe is the outer material, but that just kind of depends on what you prefer, so it's up to you. And I've put this through a bit of its paces. You can actually see it's got a little bit of wear and tear. We use this a little bit, you know, at locals and stuff, and it seemed to hold up really well. Uh, it doesn't, it's not a deck box that really bends much under pressure. Um, I've seen deck boxes that do, but this one seems to stay 
quite solid. Like I said, it doesn't open even if you like, you know, directly do that. So really greatly built product and it comes in lots of colors so you can find the one that fits you the best. Overall, I would highly recommend this product. It's definitely worth the price. You find it for around $20 and I think that this is actually a fair price given um, how long I think this would last and the really premium look that you get. And you would want to use this if you have more valuable cars. So all in all, highly recommended product. If you're interested in buying it, I will have a link in the description where you can purchase this. Um, and yeah, great product from BCW Gaming. So if you like these reviews, give it a thumbs up. And if you have this deck box, share your experiences with it in the comments below and give me suggestions for other things to review and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one.